All right, let's get back to the exodus out of high-tax states, these blue states in particular, New Jersey. My goodness, one of those high-tax states that people are leaving in droves. Joining us now, Steve Adubato. He is political analyst and author of the book Lessons in Leadership. Steve, um, this is a real fight, right? I mean, everyone has to admit that uh, people are moving mm -hmm. in droves. I mean, these are productive Americans who are fleeing these states, particularly Jersey. Look, Charles, here's the issue. We have Governor Murphy, a new governor in New Jersey, trying to change uh, gears, if you will, from Governor Christie. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but I agree with Governor Murphy's progressive agenda. He wants to have free community college. He wants to pay public employees more. He wants to deal with the pension crisis in the state. He wants to do a lot of things that uh, Christie didn't want to do in the same way. The problem is the cash. Right. <laughs> the problem is we just don't have the money. Like, I'd like to have a new pool. You got to deal with the economics. And the problem right now in New Jersey is you have a Democratic governor with a Democratic legislature led by Senate President Steve Sweeney, who says, look, I'm for a, an increase in the millionaire's tax, which, in fact, Governor Murphy is proposing. He said, but not now, not after the federal government changed the tax laws, as you well know, to limit state and local deductions to 10 grand. Now, if you live in New Jersey, the highest property tax state in the nation, with a virtually 9 percent income tax, potentially going up to 11 percent income tax right. on a million dollars and up, those people can move to Pennsylvania. I think it's about three. Mm. They can move to New York, five-ish. Check the numbers. How about Florida? We lost billionaire David Tepper. This is a guy who's big into charter schools. He leaves the state. We lose all that tax revenue. So Governor Murphy and his administration have to figure out how to raise revenue to pay for these programs without losing people who vote with their feet. That's the challenge. Well, is there any thought about the idea that if the taxes were lower, maybe these businesses would come back and you could fill the coffers in a different sort of way. More businesses, more people working, uh, a lower tax, but ultimately you accumulate more money. I mean, or, or, or is that just something that uh, is against Democrat or, or Democratic orthodoxy that, that just will never fly? I don't think it's Democrat. First of all, as I said, you've got a Democrat leader in the state Senate. Oh, really, no, Sweeney is the voice of reason in my mind. But in he's this a particular issue. Yeah, he is. And, and the Speaker of the House, Craig Coughlin, moderate as well. But here's what I'm saying. I don't think it's Democrat or Republican. I think that there's so much pressure to manage this budget, to get the $2 billion increase that the governor proposed in the budget up to about $35, $36 billion, and get the money now. What you've just described is a longer term, a, a long game. In New Jersey, when you have to do that budget every year, they're just looking for cash. The fear I have is that the calculation that you'll get more money by increasing the millionaire's tax and a little bit on the sales <laughs> tax, and people leave, yeah. there's a difference between what you think you're going to get and zero if that person leaves. And I think Governor Murphy's heart is absolutely in the right place, wants to do the right things, but he's yeah. got to match his policies with the economic. <clears throat> yeah, he does. Uh, economic reality. Because he's a billionaire. Maybe he's out of touch, no matter where his heart I is. I think Steve. he cares deeply, but you still got to do the black and the red and make the budget work. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. Great seeing you. Thank you.